Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure. This is City Survival. Settlement Survival. City Survival is obviously something we aspire toward, but uh, we're not quite there yet. Now, I have a problem at the moment. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, yeah, fill in your own jokes. Um, and the problem is, I think I've got, uh, I've got a resource problem because no one can actually put the wood anywhere to take it to the necessary and so forth, right? So, uh, I need to fix that. I suspect the fix in question is going to be to get a better warehouse. So actually, I mean, that seems seems reasonable. We'll, we'll, we'll unlock the warehouse tech. There we go. Warehouse tech unlocked. And then we'll, we'll endeavour to build a warehouse. But I, I strongly suspect it's going to be uh, a tricky to do so, given that we can't get our hands on any wood, despite the fact that there is wood lying around all over the place because they can't pick up the wood and take it directly to a job. They have to wait until it's been taken to a warehouse first so that they can then pick it up and take it to a job. I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, yeah, you see, you need 40 wood. And I've got no space in the warehouse for anything that is wooden. So what if I were to say, these feathers, not interested. Can I, can I kick the feathers out? Uh, no. Okay. I mean, we've got a, I mean, look, there you go. It had some timber rock up and it got booted back out again. But there does seem to be a little bit of, uh, a little bit of to and fro. Uh, just not quite at the pace that is uh, necessary for, to facilitate a, a rapid bit of movement. Um, but it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. It's all going to be fine. It will balance. Everything will balance out. One citizens want a house. <sighs> they they always want something, don't they? All right. Yeah. Okay. Let's. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Got to keep. Got to keep the houses going. And this is why I built a housing estate in the first place. You see, because then I can stick uh, a second rank of houses uh, behind them. I mean, it's it's all very well me ordering that, of course. It's not going to get built until such a time as I've got my new warehouse built, which isn't going to get built until I've got the timber necessary to build the warehouse, which I'm working on it. Uh, it's a problem that is that is definitely being worked upon, but uh, yeah, it's, a, it's okay. It's, it's just a matter of patience, and maybe in future, considering, oh, maybe don't generate quite so much gubbins all in one go. All in one go. Because... Uh, You'll have uh, you'll have difficulty, something or other. Yeah, it's all it's all fine. It's all fine. I'm 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 not uncalm. Uh, everyone's really happy. Okay, nice. Uh, and uh, and gradually, gradually less healthy. Ah, oh, well, I mean that's that's what we all want, really, isn't it? Come on, you need three more wood, and the warehouse will pop up. At which point, we should roar, screaming into life, and we've got the uh, the field up. Super alpacas, please. Yep. Right. You've got max capacity of nine. Once we reach nine, you start killing them. Sounds harsh, but uh, it's the circle of life. Uh, can I rename the alpaca pasture? No. Oh, that's a pity. I'd call it uh, the alpaca pasture or, or something or something similar. Let's have a quick look. Right, we've got no labourers. Uh, yeah. Uh, labourers, just, you know, just to keep you up to speed. There we go, we've got the, we've got the warehouse now. Oh, yeah, and we've got the forester's hut. Okay, good. And we've got the gatherer's hut and the hunter's hut and the chopping house and seven houses, yeah, and we're... Oh, crikey, the flipping repair shop. Um, right. Oh, dear. Yeah, the repair shop is absolutely essential, and I haven't built one yet. Oh, no. Yeah. What's the repair shop? Well, I'm very glad you asked. Uh, the repair shop has uh, a little little person who works in there, and their entire job is to go and repair your buildings. If you don't repair your buildings, your buildings fall apart. And it's almost been long enough that my buildings will start falling apart. And therefore, getting the old repair shop up fairly quickly is going to be pretty important. Yeah, yeah, it really is. Better chop down a few more trees. Yeah. Rampant deforestation. I love it. Anyway, with the what the flipping heck is that? Uh if I had to guess, I'd say that was a, oh no, it's a wild tree. It's a flipping massive wild tree. Transplanted it. It's un, unusually fertile. Perhaps that's why the tree's grown here. Will I cut it down or move it somewhere else? Uh, I don't necessarily want to make that decision right now. I don't know how important it is. 
does this land make the tree fertile or is the i don't i don't know i can't decide no leave it alone just leave just let oh you can't you've got to decide right cut it down then yeah a significant amount of tree uh but uh, because the ecosystem is also damaged it has caused the trees in the settlement to grow slower ah okay all right well short term gain then uh, and we've got the autumn excursion event uh harvest season is coming wild fruits can be picked and so forth uh with sturdy fruit picker poles can be used to collect them some citizens intend to go out to search for these supplies in the wild where should they go Oh, go into the river. Go to the riverside. I know what you'll get from the forest. Go to the riverside. See what you find. Uh, the the weeds along the river were tough and tall, and the citizens cut them and tied them into straw men. Ten scarecrows. No idea if that's useful to me or not. But hey ho! Nice. It's all part of the rich tapestry of running a village that has got no technology and dysentery. Uh, so uh, yes, that's all. That's all solidly good. Also, can't help but notice, people aren't exactly piling forward here to chop down these trees. It's because you've got no labourers. Oh, yeah, I suppose there is that. Yeah. In which case, it is going to be time to uh, to start tweaking the old jobs. Right, let's have one fewer builder. You can't. You've got to, you've got to do that from the shed. All right, I'll do it from the shed. Dennis, you're fired. There we are. Dennis feels sad about this, but, but ultimately, Dennis is going to serve us a greater purpose in another role and uh, that'll work nicely there we go we've got our we've got our alpaca it's going on the warehouses are all full again it's because i'm producing too much food at the moment um yeah i mean it's a nice problem to have uh, but we later on it, that will uh, that will sort itself out i just need to keep an eye on the food trend there's a graph somewhere that will show me the food trend but frankly, at the moment, it seems rather redundant to do so, given that the uh, the old settlement hasn't been around that long. Uh, five kids now. All right. Kids turn into labourers later on. I'd, I could knock up a school, but you need someone to work there, and it means you have to wait longer before your kids actually become valuable members of society. Um, and now they are increasingly uh, more they're, they're more valuable members of society once you do so um but i've I got that luxury at the moment no that's uh, uh education is uh, is a luxury item it will hold me back too too much right now to uh, to allow my people to learn their spellings yeah can i can i get this road in a slightly better place yeah, 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 yeah. But not there, because you haven't lined it up correctly. Oh, that's fine. I'll turn this into a, a double-stack dirt highway. Will you? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm totally, totally double-stacking that highway of dirt. Yes. All right, okay. Well, I'm going to let this, the settlement survive for a little while longer now, uh, so that we can get to the point where a bit more advancement can be done. Right, we've got uh, we've got a solid amount of progress going on. Uh, we've got two alpacas now. Count them. Yeah, yeah. Oh, heady, heady number of alpacas on the go, uh, which is great. Uh, I've, I've got a couple more houses coming up because we've got eleven kids at the moment, and uh, and I've got one spare labourer because I've uh, I've knocked back the amount of uh, 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 firewood, uh, fuel. That's what they call it. Uh, I've knocked that back a little bit, which should help us out. That, yeah, one more labourer, which means I'm probably going to make the clinic, I think. And now it's saying build a church, it'll make people happy. But I, in all honesty, uh, I want my uh, I want my sick people to be less sick. So uh, so we'll get the clinic up. Now, in order to progress much further, I'm going to need to get my sand pit operating. And that's, that's going to take a little while till we get to that point. I've got... Uh, yeah, again, need labourers in order to make that happen. Uh, we're gathering a little bit of alpaca wool, but not enough to make clothes. And as you'll see over here, we've got 63 sets of clothing at the moment, which is enough for three sets for everybody. That'll keep us going in the short term. Uh, Phoebe, stop working there for a bit. All right, we'll turn the tailor off just for the time being. Uh, and maybe I will knock up the sandpit. Yeah, let's do it. Because the sandpit can be turned off as well. Uh, now, sandpit needs to live near the coast. So I think over... Well... Don't ruin the fish. All right. Well, we can we can plant down here, and that'll that'll be uh, that'll be splendid. Uh, right about there. Yeah. 
sand pit me. Um, yeah, that, that, that'll be good. As, see, oh, look, I've got roads in development. I mean, they're made of dirt, but they're still roads. They're real. Well, I'm out of wood again. Crikey. You don't have to get through it. There we go. We've got the clinic up, and Dr. Phoebe is in, uh, uh, is in the house right now going, uh, yes, perhaps you would like your leg tended to. There we go. Two people with legs uh, who currently need attending. Uh, it's, it's all good. Yeah, we've got 13 kids now. Crikey. Yeah, that's no, nice. No, it's all good. It's all good. Those those kids are going to turn into valuable members of society. Or at least they're going to turn into members of society. Whether or not they're valuable will largely return on whether they make me any money. And, uh, I mean, if they don't, well, I'll shoot them. Will you? No, I won't. Yeah. How are you getting on there, uh, uh, Oscar? Well, we, he's, uh, he's grabbed us uh, lots of alpaca-based materials at the moment. And some turkey meat. That's That's helpful. Um, yeah, that's, that's good. I see you've been treated there, broken leg person, but you still, still seem to be hobbling. Okay, well, I mean, you know, get well soon, all of that kind of business, but, you know, if you wouldn't mind making out a little bit faster, that would be, uh, that would be jolly helpful. And now we haven't got enough wood to build anything, and also, the Phoebe's become a doctor, and I, I know that was, that was maybe an oversight on my part. No, it's, uh, yeah, it's okay, it's alright. We need more wood. Yeah, and you cut down the tree of plenty, which means that trees are not really going to grow all that fast. Yeah, I might need to place an ancillary uh, forester in order to make up that shortfall. Uh, it's, it's okay, it's important business. Yeah, it really is. And uh, your firewood appears to have dropped dramatically. Oh, immigrants have arrived. That's fine. That's okay. I'm not worried about the immigrants. Not at the moment, because I don't have a town hall. No, they can't. Uh, they can't join us if they uh, if we don't have a town hall. Uh, I have acquired new livestock. What have we got? Buffalo. Ooh, exotic. Yeah, well, I mean it's going to need another pasture before I can breed them. Um, but that's okay. I, that's something I would like to do. But the time is not yet upon us. Animals breed very very slowly. But once they once they hit the old sweet spot, they're hard oh, on Oscar's frozen to death. Okay, what was Oscar doing? Anyone know? Does anyone know what Oscar was doing? Anyone got any kind of a Scooby at all? No. What were you doing, Oscar? Um, he wasn't a tailor. No. Uh, he wasn't a water fetcher. Nope. Uh, we've got plenty of water. It's all good. I'm, I'm, what I'm considering doing at the moment, actually, is dropping the number of farmers that I've got. Yeah, I, I, I know. It's pretty exciting. Um, no, I think he was probably a woodcutter. Given we've got two open jobs, or, or possibly a forester, uh, you know, it's, you know, it's, it's all that's all. It's all plausible, uh, right? What are you lot over here? You are the forester's hut. They're going to plant saplings. They're also going to grab some for us. Last year we got a grand total of thirty-two. It has to be said, I don't think they're doing a good enough job for us. If I'm having a clear cut in order to uh, to grab enough uh, wood in order to do anything. That's not uh, that's not going to cut it, figuratively. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, look, your clay pits up. Do you want to take someone off farming? Yeah. Bob, get off the farm. Yeah. We don't need we don't need rice at the moment. There we are. Right. Bring me clay because with clay I can then turn that into. Well, you can turn it into stuff. That's that's certainly a thing. Uh, but uh, but more importantly than that. We can uh, we can use the the clay that you will harvest with your shovel uh, into uh, into building materials. This is actually quite a good view. Anytime you click on a building, it tells you what all the buildings have got going on as far as workers are concerned, and whether there is a potential shortfall. You can also add more labourers to uh, to individual whatnots. Yeah, facilities, production houses. One might say. Yeah. Now, the Gatherer's Hut, they're, they're grabbing all of this business, right? And that's great. It's all good. It's all very useful. We don't have a shortcoming in terms of food at the moment, but the main thing that they gather that we do need is herbs, um, which, uh, which allows us to do medicines. And until I have a replacement for that, we've, we've got to do it. It means that I'm gathering more food than strictly I need, but, uh, but equally... You can't go without herbs, and if you're not uh, doing anything like, you know, all, it's just, you know, just, just reasons, you know? 
Uh, anyway, it's, uh, it's floaty time. Give me some pudding. Uh, what have we got? Dumplings. All right. Well, you know what? Swanky food makes people happy. Uh, and therefore, I'm all good with that. Uh, we're up to three alpacas. Yep. Last year, we uh, we got 59 sets of alpaca wool and some dried animal dung. Uh, which you go, oh, that's not very useful. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go, no. No, it's, it's very useful. Because the dung can be turned into fuel. Uh, and it can also be used to turn into fertilizer later on when uh, when one has learned the ins and outs of fertilizations so uh, that's that's going to be vital eventually not necessarily now uh, spring rainbow uh, after a spring rain the sky is clear and a very beautiful rainbow appeared temperature has warmed up a lot in sunshine perhaps we can pray that this will be a warm year sure yeah yeah See, there we are. We've, I mean, all right. Look, I mean, if 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 praying's going to actually yield results, I'm all for it. Uh, let's uh, let's crack on. Here we go. We've got an actual empty house at the moment. That's good. We've also got a flipping frightening number of children. You kind of go, really, children? Frightening? Uh, yes, because uh, if if left unchecked, they'll all mature at the same time and they'll start eating me out of house and home. Uh, and consuming just about everything. Now, that's not terrible because they can all get to work, but if I don't have the resources, uh, or the reserves, rather, to keep them all happy, then, you know, things can things can take a... I'm trying to instill something to two more births last season. Gracious. Um, yeah, I'm, in, I'm instilling a sense of... Uh, ooh, ooh, ah, ooh, ooh, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's all good. Right, I should probably spend some tech points and build something of use. Uh, but actually, I want to see how much uh, how much clay I've managed to, to uh, rustle up. Does clay live in there? No. How much clay have you made? 60. Right, in that case, I can apiary. Like we did last summer. Uh, apiary. Now, the reason for getting a, uh, for, for apiaring is, firstly, people like honey. Uh, secondly, your beeswax. Uh, can be uh, can be turned into uh, soap, where it helps in the construction of soap. Once I've researched it, uh, which will uh, which will facilitate. Where do you want to put your apiary? Apparently, it needs to live near trees. All right. Well, we'll stick it out on the outskirts of this field then, and it, that should that should give them plenty of opportunities to pollinate. Yeah, go pollinate like you mean it. Uh, meanwhile, we'll probably stop doing clay. Yeah, we'll stop doing clay uh, for the moment. Bob, go and, go and make people some nice clothes, would you? Thank you. That'd be good, because uh, we've only got 27 left in stock. We get through we get through so many clothes. And I don't know whether my people are just treating the place like it's got fast fashion. Uh, but, uh, but no, no, there it is. Um, it's, you know, people, people are just throwaway about their stuff these days. And, and that's, you know, it's just... It's just not what you want. Uh, anyway, I've been Colonel Failure. I'm going to carry on with this because uh, it's a jolly, jolly, jolly pretty game. And uh, and it's a good challenge. But it does... What's going on? Okay, probably best not to ask. Let's slow down the action here. Everybody's just... Megan, what are you up to? I'm being a child. Okay, you've got a red packet. I'm not entirely sure what the red packet is. Except one person finds the red packet every year. And uh, and they they profess it, and apparently it's a luck thing. There's quite a lot of Chinese influences in terms of uh, uh, cultural stuff. Ch Chinese cultural stuff. You're yeah, you sound like a properly uh, 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 arthropological. Yeah, I am. I'm very arthropological. Subscribe if you enjoy this kind of behaviour, because I'll be doing more of it. I've got nothing more to tell you than that, really. Uh, I've been Colonel Faye. Thank you very much for watching. Cheerio.